guys welcome again to the Brit Taylor TV it's so good to have you here it's been a minute okay so today I'll I'll try to make this as brief as possible because it's money and a number of people are quite uncomfortable with this topic as well as some people want to be informed about how to manage finances in their businesses so I'll go straight to it right now I'll start by saying a friend of mine oh a friend of a friend of mine said something said um if you want to if you want to start a business or if you want to manage your business treat your business like an experiment yeah that will mean that okay every stage of your business you're trying and evolving and making sure that things are the same way they were a few months weeks or years ago a lot of people want to earn money a lot of people are in business and a lot of people want to enjoy being in business and you're only going to enjoy being in business when you see that you're having a good flow of income so first thing you should do outline your budget for the month okay if you're earning if now you can use this for your personal living and for your business it helps you to save up money and helps you to reinvest money okay so if you if you're earning 10,000 naira per month okay work around your budget go how how to do this is go to your account your yes your account see how much money you spend weekly then monthly go over it go but dated to three to four months ago so that you can see a pattern of how much you spend and what you spend money on most often do that consistently that'll help you to know okay this is what I'm spending money on then you fix a budget to it. You cannot be spending more than you're earning. It doesn't make any sense. You cannot be taking Ubers and taxifies every day, morning, afternoon, and evening. And you don't even make as much money to fend for your Uber taxis from Monday through Friday. That's all of your profit from uh, all, all of your profit through the month cannot even complement. The amount you spend on taxi per month or per week so why are you doing that who are who exactly are you living for aren't you trying to be something aren't you trying to be a better person aren't you trying to save for the future what do you think your future holds if you're going to keep spending all the money that you're making okay so now that you have a budget fix the budget if you okay so i was saying something about ten thousand if you have if you earn ten thousand naira make sure your budget is within 60 50 to 60 percent of your total income and your budget can include your, your tea fare your feeding allowances your shopping allowances your makeup allowances whatever important allowance you think you should include there that will still leave you with just 60 percent of your total earning is good enough next you save how many percent is good enough for saving i can't tell you that i really can't tell you that but save as much as possible right now you're starting your business or you're in business and you think you think it's difficult to save another way to go about it is investing the money reinvesting the money and making sure that it's helping it's it's it's, it's acting as a form of capital to help grow your business that that's that's like the best way to do it if you are if you cannot save or if you cannot save as much if you are going to save two thousand naira and you want to reinvest 1,500, please still have about 500 Naira saved in your account. I'm using Naira because we're in Nigeria, Lagos. Okay, so next, earnings. After all of this, you've noticed, ah, 10,000 Naira is a lot, it's, it's not a lot of money for me to survive on this month or any other month. I have to look for other streams of income. That's where you start to explore. You have to go out of your way to say, okay, I need a, a, a couple of more streams of income. Try dabbling into different legal businesses. See how much more you can make. That's going to help you to increase your budget. It's going to help you to double up on your earnings. And it's going to help you to reinvest more in other businesses and help you grow. Your business is going to take a process to grow. Your business is going to take a process to grow. Your business is going to take a process to grow. Take advices from people. Listen to people who say, oh, try this or try that. But don't be hard on yourself and say, um, this is taking too long for my business to escalate to another level. 
it is very important it is very very important that you understand that your business is your business okay as much as you're open to taking um, criticism from people as long as you as as much as you're open to listening to other people's opinion you also need to listen to yourself you also need to listen to the fact that you you are the you are the brain behind this vision you're the one who knows where you want to head except you're also confused about where you're heading then i can we can have another topic about that but right now we're talking about finance so try your best try 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 your best to outline what your budget is your earnings are and try to reinvest that's the only way your business is going to escalate to several levels of the business. There's really no point trying to make more money if you're still not going to have a proper budget or something that is concrete or fixed. It's pointless really. Okay, everyone hates the rat race. I hate the rat race. So if you want to get out of the rat race, do something about your income. Do something about your expenditure. Do something about your budget. And you'll enjoy a beautiful life. It's been so good talking to you. Until we see you again next week. Thank you so much. Bridget Taylor.